The U.S. Navy accepted delivery of the USS Gerald R. Ford on May 31st. Ford-class supercarriers are being built to replace some of the United States Navy's existing Nimitz-class carriers from 2017. Nimitz-class carriers have been one of the most important assets of the U.S. Armed Forces and have enabled power projection far off from the U.S. homeland. The Nimitz design has accommodated many new technologies over the decades, but its ability to accept the most recent technical advances is limited. Major limitations include limited electrical power generation. The ships of Ford class are expected to be in service with the U.S. Navy till 2065. The first ship of this class is the USS Gerald R. Ford. Like all the Nimitz class carriers, the USS Gerald R. Ford is also built in Newport News shipbuilding. It costs around $12.8 billion. In this video, we'll look at the five definitive reasons why Russia and China should fear it. Number five. Nimitz-class carriers got planes moving for takeoff using steam-actuated catapults. The system required a lot of steam piping, a lot of condensate return, and tons of fresh water. They tend to have a lot of maintenance issues. Plus, with steam actuation, the majority of the force is being transferred to the airplane at the beginning of the stroke, in a jolt. This puts stress on the airframe, and thus reduces lifespan of the multi-million dollar planes. Ford-class uses Electromagnetic Airlift Launch System EMALS. The system uses linear introduction motor with an electric current to generate a magnetic field. That field then propels a carriage down the track. Since the power delivery is linear, it negates the deficiencies of steam catapult. The hydraulic arresting system is installed in Nimitz class. The hydraulic arresting system is designed for traditional carrier-based aircrafts. Advanced arresting gear AAG, is capable of working with all current and projected future carrier-based aircraft from the lightest unmanned aerial vehicles to the heaviest manned fighters and are more efficient. It's to be noted here that Russia and China are still using ski jump, which are a generation behind steam actuated catapults of Nimitz class and two generations behind EMALS of Ford class. Also, no Russian or Chinese carrier is expected to field AAG in the near future, limiting their ability to field futuristic unmanned combat air vehicles UCAV. Number four. Ford class has newly designed reactors. Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors are installed on the USS Gerald R. Ford. Each one of these are capable of producing 300 megawatts of electricity, triple the 100 megawatts of each Nimitz class. The huge power supply provides for the legroom required for future expansions like inducting lasers and railguns. Also, compared to the Nimitz class reactor, the Ford reactor have about half as many valves, piping, major pumps, condensers, and generators which reduce maintenance cost and lower space requirements. Being nuclear powered, they practically have unlimited range and need refueling once in about 20 years. It must be noted that neither Russia nor China currently has any nuclear powered carrier and may require at least a decade before they will have one. The technological gap in this regard is huge. Number three. USS Gerald R. Ford has an integrated active electronically scanned array, EASA, search and tracking radar system. The dual band radar, DBR, utilizes a multi-tier dual band tracker, which consists of a local X band tracker, a local S band tracker, and a central tracker. The central tracker merges the two signals to provide a comprehensive situational awareness. The X-band tracker is optimized for low latency to support its mission of providing defense against fast, low-flying vehicles, while the S-band tracker is optimized for large area coverage. This new system has no moving parts, therefore minimizes maintenance and manning requirements. Also, replacing 6 to 10 radar antennas with a single sixth-faced radar increases the deck space. Russia or China doesn't have anything close to being as sophisticated as this radar. Number two. USS Gerald R. Ford implements high levels of automation, which gives it increased capability with reduced crew. Automation has been implemented wherever possible. Ford class carrier has 25% less crew compared to Nimitz class. This will result in the vessel being much more efficient and also reduce faults due to human error. 
The Ford class also has a newly designed deck, which provides more space for flight operations. It has three aircraft elevators instead of four in Nimitz. These three are much more advanced than the four in Nimitz. The result of automation and superior elevators is impressive. Ford class is capable of generating 30% more sorties flight missions per day than Nimitz class. The carrier carries 75 plus aircrafts, a 30% increase results in massive gains since the offensive as well as defensive capabilities of the carrier gets a major lift. Also, eliminating one of the elevators further increased the ship's capabilities by leaving room for other things like having dedicated helicopter landing pad. Number 1 Initially, the Ford class will have two squadrons of 10 to 12 F 35 C Joint Strike Fighters, two squadrons of 10 to 12 F A 18 E F Super Hornets, five E A 18 G Growler electronic attack jets, four E 2 D Hawkeye airborne early warning and control aircraft, and two C 2 Greyhound carrier onboard delivery COD planes. It will carry eight M H 60 S Seahawk helicopters as well. But the Ford class carriers have also been envisaged to be future proof. Keeping this in view, special attention has been given to increased deck space and power. These two factors come together to enable Ford class to accommodate two game-changing technologies in coming days. Lasers Recently, the U.S. Navy has tested a $40 million, 30-kilowatt laser mounted on the deck of the USS Ponce in the Persian Gulf. Unlike missiles, lasers travel at the speed of light, so they hit their target almost instantaneously. Not only can they take out a swarm of deadly drones, they can act as a missile defense system. Railgun The U.S. Navy recently test-fired a railgun. Railguns use electromagnetic energy to fire projectiles at seven to nine times the speed of sound. There is no way to defend against these shots. Russia and China are far off from incorporating this technology in their vessels. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.